CGTN, Washington. Meanwhile, the UN Special Rapporteur on Torture, Nils Melza, is warning that the extent of the killings and rapes reported in the Democratic Republic of Congo is bringing the country closer to genocide. The violence took place in Kasai back in 2016, but ongoing tensions in the central region remain a concern. Chris Ochamringa has more from Kinshasa. The UN Special Rapporteur on Torture, Nils Melza, has condemned the killings that occurred in the DRC's central region of Kasai in 2016. It has been quoted by international news agencies as saying that they bear the signature of the killings that sparked genocide in Rwanda and Bosnia in the early 1990s. His remarks follow the release of a recent UN report that documented violence in the Kasai region. The report accuses Congolese government troops and a local militia of carrying out a gruesome campaign of rape and murder. Two years ago, hundreds of people were killed and more than a million displaced in Kasai when government troops fought against a local militia known as Kamuin and Sapu. The fighting took an ethnic dimension when another local militia known as Banamura got sucked in. The militia is reported to have committed widespread atrocities while fighting alongside Congolese government troops. The UN has called on the DRC government to bring all the perpetrators to justice to prevent a genocide from happening. Chris Ochamringa, CGTN, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo. Well, the United Nations has also expressed concern over the rise in sexual violence against women and children in South Sudan. UN Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohamed has met with President Salva Kiir during a visit to the country. She says the UN delegation has seen firsthand the challenges faced by those displaced by the nearly five-year-long conflict. At one clinic in Juba, in the past eight months, more than 1,300 women and children have sought treatment for injuries and trauma caused by a sexual violence. What has been the worst part of the conflict in this country, um, and, and I think, uh, you know, here we, um, with the delegation, heard the pain and anguish of many women, and that's the gender-based violence, and in particular, the rape. And this rape doesn't stop at just women, it also includes children. Um, to very, very young ages, as we heard, um, uh, and, and that for us uh, is, has been abhorrent. It's, it's a horror uh, story when you hear it. Um, less imagine when um, you have to go through that. Speaking to the women, <coughs> seeing them with babies sitting in a camp in their own country is not a beautiful sight. You, as leaders of South Sudan, has got it in your control to give back to the women and the children of South Sudan, their dignity and their human humanity. And I'm very confident that you will be able to do that.